Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about spring cleaning for your health. One look and I for me, this year, I started spring cleaning back in December and I'm going to try to spring clean every quarter, every three months. I'm going to try and do some of these things on repeat to stay on top of things, to stay ahead of things, and, and for my sanity. We are gonna touch on some cleaning things, uh, but this is not your basic scrub the baseboards, you know, get new sheets, blah, 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 blah. It's not just that. It's a lot of mindset spring cleaning. So let's jump right in. The first thing for me that I am spring cleaning is my routine because <laughs> I am in a new season of life. I have two littles one eight month old baby and a three year old toddler and they don't care what I want my routine to be. They run the show and I've just got to get over myself. The fantasy that I have of my morning routine is not reality. And with one kid, I could pull off what I wanna do in the morning. With two kids, it's just, no, it's not gonna happen. I have to work around them. And so I'm cleaning up my morning routine which actually means I'm cleaning up my evening routine as well. So a few things I'm changing. Bedtime for me cannot be 9.30. It cannot be 10.30. It has to be whenever Bonnie does her last feeding before her long sleep cycle. To, to make sure I'm getting better rest, I watched a video from Dr. Andrew Huberman. I'll put it in the description of this video if you want to watch it about sleep and coffee. And so he says, get up and wait 30 minutes to 45 minutes before you have your first cup of coffee. So instead of having coffee first thing, I'm going to have my electrolytes first thing. For the past few days, I have been doing this. I can't tell that it's helped that much, but also my children have just refused to sleep in this past week. They both got snotty noses, Bonnie's teething. It's a mess. So what I've been doing is I get a glass of ice sparkling water and I put a half a pack of my electrolytes not a full pack just enough to give it the flavor and then I put a lemon slice and it's nice and cold and refreshing and it still feels like I'm having a special drink I'm also getting hydrated and I'm putting off that cup of coffee that's the first thing I'm changing the electrolytes I use are from element I use Element Electrolytes. They come in so many flavors. And right now, if you go to the link in my description or the one on the screen, you'll get one of these little sample packs of eight different flavors for free with any purchase. Let's see what flavor I pull out. Ooh, raspberry. That's a good one. These have so much salt in them. I require a lot of salt. Really, most humans do. Salt is not bad for you. Do some research on that if you're scared of all the salt. These are great quality. They're sweetened with stevia. I really do love these. I've been using them for three years, long before they ever knew who I was. So thanks again to Element for sponsoring this video. Make sure you check out the link in the description for a free sample pack. Second part of my routine that I'm changing is working out. I don't love working out. If you've been on my channel, you know this, but it's something I need to do for my health, right? In my fantasy world, I get up at 4 a.m. and I get a workout in, I shower, I get dressed before my children even know my feet have hit the ground. That never happens. I could get up at 3 a.m. and one of my kids would, would wake up, be bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, and I would not work out because I would get frustrated and they need things first thing in the morning. I can't put their needs off to get a workout in. So, what I'm doing now is I put off my workout until I've taken care of the babies. I've been up for a few hours. They've been settled and it's time for their playtime. And then I do a workout in here while they're playing. That's working better. <laughs> but that makes my shower be put off till like 1130, which I don't love, but it's the season that I'm in and this is the way it's gotta be for me to get what I need to get done done. I'm becoming more realistic in my morning routines and my night routines are, uh, they're pretty good. My night routine's pretty good with the exception of I'd rather go to bed earlier than I am, but that's not really something I can change. Second thing is meal planning. So what that means is I'm actually meal planning. So <laughs> uh, because of my two babies and life, I do lots of other things besides YouTube. 
I have a very busy schedule. I used to just go through my day, fix something to eat, and I just would make stuff. I, I, there was no plan. There was no rhyme or reason. It was just like, I'll, I'll fix a hamburger. I'll fix a taco bowl. I'll fix some whatever. I just, that is just too much chaos, too much left to the unknown for me at this point in my life. I'm going to start planning my meals for the week to make sure that I have time to eat because eating is important. I'm breastfeeding exclusively. Bonnie does eat some food, but that's not where she gets all of her nutrition. She still exclusively breastfeeds a lot. She's eight months old, so she's not weaned, nowhere close to being weaned. I have to eat. If I don't eat in the morning, I get nauseous. Uh, on some days so I have to have a plan for what I'm going to eat for at least lunch now dinner I can kind of eat my leftovers from lunch so really the only meal I'm planning is lunch the thing I'm cleaning out is my digital spaces so this isn't cleaned out just yet but as you can see there are a lot of apps on my iPad and most of these I don't even use I don't even use these so I'm going to clean up all the apps, all the subscriptions that I do not use, but I still pay for, empty out my email, clean up my email space, and I'm gonna to try to do that every week. That's something that I can't do once a year, right? I need to do that at least weekly. Unfollowing people. Yes, you can do that. Did you know? Just hit the unfollow. If you find yourself feeling negatively about someone or they just irk you, they get on your nerves, they're saying stuff that you don't like, whatever. Guess what? You can just hit the unfollow button and you don't have to say anything. You don't have to announce your exit, okay? You don't have to do that. In fact, please don't do that. It's, what's the point? Just leave. Unfollow. And also there's this feature now where you can mute people so they don't even know that you're not seeing their stuff in their feed. Uh, they don't get their feelings hurt if you actually know them in real life. You can just mute them. It still shows that you follow them, but you don't have to see them talking about, you know, whatever it is that gets on your nerves. So you can mute them, not get triggered, still be friends, and move along with your life. All right, so here, the last thing on my list is a category with like 15 subcategories. So decluttering, minimalizing Although I'm not, I'm not a minimalist, so don't get it twisted. That ain't, that, is, that, no. I don't fall into that category. But decluttering, I started this six months ago and the process has been getting easier and easier. I'm staying more on top of it. I'm more conscious about what leaves and what I allow to come in. So for example, last week I decluttered the kitchen and I got rid of a lot of stuff. So any containers that didn't have lids, gone, donate. Any dishcloths that looked disgusting, had rips, tears, holes in them, trash. Oven mitts that were literally covered in like crusty food, trash. Um, because they had been washed, but they, st they were just disgusting, okay? Trash, I can buy new ones, right? New clean oven mitts, new clean dish towels, and good quality. Because I used to get all of my dish towels and my oven mitts from Hobby Lobby. I don't really shop at Hobby Lobby anymore. That's, an, that's another part of my spring cleaning is where I shop. So that's a part of the, de the decluttering process. Also, shopping or lack thereof. Also, though, before I get into Hobby Lobby... I totally, I got rid of several kitchen appliances that just were taking up space. I did not use them, even though they were great, and maybe I love them, and maybe there's a place for them in my future. There is not a place for them now. So the first thing I got rid of was my Instant Pot. <gasps> I know, I know. But hear me out. I replaced that with a Dutch oven. I wasn't using the Instant Pot. It was taking up counter space. It's a little hard to clean, like the top and the crevices. It was getting kind of gross and I just don't have time to take a Q-tip in there and clean it so it's not growing something disgusting. I can do everything that I wanna do, either on top of the stove or in the Dutch oven. I don't need an Instant Pot. I'm not making yogurt. I'm not making anything that like, I'm just not using it anymore. 
I love the Dutch oven that I got. I'll put a picture of it up here. I have already used it twice. I used it twice in the first week I had it. I made, I roasted a whole chicken. I made beef cheeks in it. I'm gonna use it for my quail. I'm gonna use it to cook Cornish game hens. There's just roast so many things and it tastes so flipping good in a Dutch oven. It just gets so tender and, and all the juices are in there. And the Instant Pot is great. It does a great job cooking too. It just wasn't, it wasn't serving me. It kind of looked gaudy sitting out. It was just sitting there and it was, like I said, gross. My Dutch oven, I just clean it, set it on a towel to dry it, done. And I can store it underneath my cabinets. It doesn't have to sit on a countertop. So, love the Dutch oven, super excited about that. Second thing I got rid of kitchen appliance wise was my deep fryer. Now I love deep frying food, okay? However, I have not used that thing in two years. Two years it has been sitting, taking up space. I just don't have, I to get it down, fill it up with, I would have to use that every week for that to make sense. It doesn't make sense for me anymore. If I fry something, I just use a frying pan. I don't need a deep fryer for that. We're not having barbecues and fish fries over here. It's just me and Kim, two kids and sometimes my parents, okay? We do not need a deep fryer. Maybe one day in the future, I will get another deep fryer. But it was just taking up space. I hadn't used it for two years. Clearly, it did not need to be in my house. I have an air fryer, I have frying pans, we're good. I had three, no, I had four different kinds of waffle makers. I only kept one because I do love to make Mickey waffles for Beckett. That's his, one of his favorite treats. So um, four or five times a year, I will make him Mickey waffles, my homemade recipe for waffles which are very good. I'll link that in the description if you wanna check out my waffle recipe. It's good. And so I just kept one, but I didn't need four waffle makers because they were different shapes. You know, one of them was a pumpkin and one of them was a spider web and one of them was just regular waffles and then there were the Mickey waffles. So now we have one. Okay, let's go back to Hobby Lobby. <laughs> so things I'm not doing anymore. So it's another cleaning mental health growth thing. I'm not shopping for decor at all. In fact, I am purging any knick knickknack, petty wax, give a dog a bone, anything that sits on flat surfaces, gone. With the exception of my mantle and my hutch. And those things are, um, you know, special. They're special things, but just random things. This over here, flat surfaces, they just tend to collect stuff. Right, so Ken got me the mermaid. I'm gonna keep it because he just bought it for me because I love mermaid things and I had a ton of mermaid decor. It was all in the house fire. He bought me that because I, I haven't bought any more mermaid things since then. So I'm keeping that. There's a few memento things that are gonna stay here, but gone are the days of me just going to Hobby Lobby and buying decor for the coffee bar, for the kitchen counters, for the TV, for the, you know, like flat services do not have to have decorations on them, okay? They just don't. I'm done with that. There's no reason for me to have stuff all over the place. I'd rather it just be clean. I'd rather my kitchen have clean counters, room for me to chop up the things that I need to do for meal preps. I, I, I just don't care to see junk for the sake of decoration. So I haven't been to Hobby Lobby in over a year. Um, the only reason I will go back to Hobby Lobby is to get arts and crafts things for the kids. Now that I will get from Hobby Lobby, but no more lamps, no more lanterns, no more random little plaque things, no more cutesy like decorating for the seasons with the exception of Christmas, okay? With the exception of Christmas. We're not going through the seasons. No more throw pillows. You heard me. Do you, like those of you who followed me, I used to have throw pillows for every season of life, okay? There are no throw pillows in this house, none. Because all they did was sit there maybe an hour a day and the rest of the time they were thrown in the floor. The dog would chew on them or worse. Not serving a, not serving a purpose. I just had to keep buying them. It was a mess, I'm over it cleaning out my cup collection. Hmm, this was a big deal because I had a lot of cups. 
I like cups. I like specific cups for specific drinks. I've been told that's weird, but I bet someone watching does the same thing. For example, a coffee, a hot coffee goes in a mug. A hot coffee does not go in a glass, right? An iced beverage goes in a glass. An iced coffee goes in a glass. Wine goes in a wine glass. Do you see where I'm going? Like, Ken used to bring me an iced coffee in a coffee mug and oh, my brain, I can't, I can't, I don't know why, I just can't do it. Anyways, all that to say, I had a lot of cups. I got rid of probably 35 tumblers because I only use my Stanleys now. I use my Stanleys for cold drinks and I use my corksicle um, coffee mugs and my wine corksicles for my wine if I'm drinking wine. So I don't need and I had two full cabinets in the kitchen full of tumblers and cups from Dollywood. I mean, just random cups, okay? Starbucks, so many Starbucks cups because I used to have a Starbucks cup problem. I no longer have that problem. Like, I don't care. I don't care. Missing straws, like cups that didn't have lids. Um, those were gone, 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 gone. I only kept the ones I use which are basically are the Stanleys at this point. And toys, which I've been going through for months and months and months. And we are down to, I mean, I'm, my house is never gonna be spick and span. I have two children who just wake up and destroy the place. And that is fine. As long as it is organized chaos and there's not too many toys and the toys that we have work, have all their parts and are played with, that's fine. But we have downsized the toys probably 80 percent um, and i'm very happy with that it seems that the kids are less over actually do better with less toys i read a lot about it and and it's like too many toys give them too many choices it's overwhelming and then they just don't play with anything and then they get into trouble so less toys better quality toys we have the love every um toy subscription box and it comes with like montessori tools for Bonnie and then Beckett, he just wants his cars and his trains. He's a very simple boy. That's all he likes. Buzz Lightyear, cars, trains, and we're good. All right, that is my list of things that I'm making an effort to do for my mental health and my physical health. Please let me know if you're gonna do any of these. If you have something you wanna add to this list, feel free to do that in the comment section. If you hadn't already, hit the subscribe button on your way out and the thumb, and I'll see you in the next one. Love you, mean it. Bye.